Hi, this is Manny Hernandez from 2diabetes.com. I haven't uh, been in front of the camera for a little bit while, but I wanted to return today and talk about the topic of LADA. There was an excellent post by Diabetic Is Me that we highlighted in our most recent newsletter that I recommend you read. I'm going to be including this video alongside the comments for that post. But I wanted to take the opportunity to emphasize a few of the points she made because LADA or type 1.5 diabetes it is a relative is a relatively misunderstood type of diabetes because of the moment in the life of the person who gets diagnosed it typically during adulthood it gets um, consistently misdiagnosed as type 2 you know, most physicians that run into an imbalance and inability to control blood sugar levels, you know, conclude naturally that uh, this problem is due to type 2 diabetes and hence they begin treating the person with the standard uh, oral based uh, medications for it. That happened to me and a few months uh, after I got diagnosed back in October of 2002. I was uh, finding myself un unable to control my blood sugars uh, using the standard treatments. Um, I got referred to an endocrinologist and he tested me for two things, C-peptide levels and antibodies. C-peptide levels, basically when they're low, they are a confirmation that you are insulin deficient, meaning your body is no longer producing enough insulin and that is the result of the depletion of your islet cells, the ones in your pancreas that are responsible for manufacturing and putting out the insulin that you need. These disappear as a result of antibodies in your body that fight them off essentially as if they were uh, you know, a virus. Uh, so uh, if you test positive for these antibodies and you have low C-peptide, what you have my friend is not type 2 but type 1.5 diabetes because of the stage in your life that you're getting diagnosed. Typically this evolves from an apparent type 2 to uh, an all-out 1.5 in the course of a few weeks or months and uh, I would recommend if you are not seeing the standard type 2 treatment uh, working for you talk to an endocrinologist. If you're seeing a, f a physician, a primary care physician, make sure you talk to an endocrinologist and be te get tested for C-peptide levels and for antibodies just so you can confirm whether you are actually a type 2 and you need a change in your medication regime or you are a type 1.5. That's all for now. I hope this uh, bit is helpful and um, if you haven't done it yet, please make sure to join 2diabetes.com. It's a community for people touched by diabetes. 2diabetes.com. Thank you. Goodbye.